I'm making this video because I feel like there's a lot of people out there that can relate to my situation and my insecurities and something I'm very, very self-conscious of, something that even threw me into a serious depression and I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. So I just want us squad up do this together and you know, we grind through this. So I have a very, you guys see me show my abs all the time on the mirror, flex in front of the mirror, flex in front of some bad things, but I've never told you guys my biggest insecurity. That is... My tiny little legs, bro. This is something I've been always super self-conscious of. Like, growing up, legs have always been small. My nickname was Chicken Legs, bro. And, like, a lot of sequence of events just happened after, back up, like, one after another after another that just threw me into a serious depression. So, I'm going to explain more about that later on in this video. But, this mirror is making them look a bit bigger than they are. Let me just explode myself a bit more. But really, they're, they're extremely small. Small calves, small legs. Could be because I'm tall, I'm 6'2". Could be the genetics, but... Those are all just excuses. We just gotta put in that work, bro. This is something I've, bro, I've maybe worn shorts like 10 times in my entire life. I'm just so self-conscious. I wouldn't even wanna show, like I wouldn't even go in public. I wouldn't even show face if I had to wear shorts, bro. But I'll explain more about that and this voiceover commentary on this leg day because I'm gonna just break everything down. My depression, sequence of events, like everything that happened to me just falling seriously depressed. So I, I don't, I don't wanna use this word lightly. Like that is, like I, I had a serious issue, man, but I'll, I'll talk more about that later in this video. Yo, what's good, everyone? This video right now, this is gonna be a different video. No, this is, we got a serious video today. I know I've been uploading in a minute. I apologize about that. One, this thing probably relates to that. And two, I've been just addicted to Apex. I don't even know where, I don't even know where to start, bro. Like, these, these past, two, these past two years of my life, I've had the craziest, I've had the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. I've been kind of talking about this a bit on Instagram if you've been reading my long captions, but I just kind of want to break it down more in a long form video. So this, be, this video might be pretty long, so if you want to watch it, it's all good. You can dip the video, but the true ones, the day ones, the real ones, I respect you for watching the whole video. I just want to talk about how the fitness industry, injuries, social media, just how all that can affect your mental state and how that affected my mental state, you know, and like, it's hard for me to say this. I don't even want to say this is what it was, but I was depressed. And I don't want to say I was depressed, but that's pretty much that's, that's exactly what it was. Yo, I've honestly had this footage for like months now, and I didn't know if I wanted to upload the video or not. Like, I just, in the back of my mind, I was kind of shook. I thought people would want to just chirp me, roast me, say whatever they want, you know? But now it doesn't really affect me as much anymore, but in the past, that actually, it used to affect me a lot. The more and more people that I spoke to, they kind of had the same issues as me and the same problems as me. So I thought, you know what? Might as well upload this video because... I'm sure there's a lot of people that can relate to me. And even if it just helps like a handful of people, I'm happy. Let's just start with YouTube in general. Like when I first got onto YouTube, like everyone else, yo, I'm here for that quick money. You know, I'm trying to get that quick cash, but quickly you get slapped in the face and you realize, yo, YouTube is a long-term game, bro. Took me almost a year to get 100 subs. Almost a year, bro. A year to get 100 subs. You know, that could be detrimental to someone's goals and their ambitions. You know, getting 100 subs in almost a year. That's crazy. Growing up, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I've always been a skinny kid. You know, I got like them daddy long leg arms and legs. Like, bro, my limbs are so long that it makes me look even lankier than I already am. Like everyone else, when they first get into lifting, bro, it's upper body every day, lower body. Bro, we're doing lower body, bro. Come on, like, yo, no one cares about that. But when I got more serious in the football, that's when I started training more lower body because, yo, you need that power, you need that explosive, explosiveness, you need that strength. Especially if you're trying to play, we're trying to use working out to enhance your athletic ability. But one thing that always screwed me was injuries, bro. Every season, I'd either get like a serious ankle injury, some like chronic ankle pains, or some sort of injury that would keep me out for a few weeks, even a couple months. So during those times, as a kid, bro, I loved it. All I could do was train for body, and like that's because I actually couldn't really train lower body because I was injured. So yo, upper body every day, I'm happy with that. Well, I was. And like, what do you know makes your muscle imbalances even worse? Your upper body gets bigger, your lower body's still getting smaller. And I was trying to do the opposite. Later on, having skinny legs made me super embarrassed, bro. Like, my nickname used to be Chicken Leg. I never, yo, I never wore shorts in public, bro. I would go to great lengths just to hide my legs, bro. Even, like, family events, social gatherings, going out, bro, I would not attend. Even if it's a family event, sometimes I would even flop on the event. i just show up in shorts, or sorry, i just show up in joggers and just try to completely hide it, you know? 
I was embarrassed even I was embarrassed even in front of my own family. I would honestly just lock myself in my room and just play World of Warcraft all day. And I was nice with it too though. You can catch me at 3v3 arena dog, it's game over. But I hated feeling like that. I hated having that insecurity. And I wanted to change that. So I would go hard on my leg days, bro. Go crazy hard, bro. I try to eat as much as I can, go hard in the gym, insane volume, and what one day just me playing pickup football with some of my friends at the dome. I've been playing football my whole life. I've never had like serious tears, just like major sprains. But this one night playing flag football, bro, I tear my quad. I don't even know how I do that, but I still don't even know a specific play that it happened on. I just, I tore my quad that night. And the worst thing about it is I'm always that guy that warms up and cools down after any sort of activity. And like, and I just happen to be the one out of everyone else that doesn't do that, that gets injured. So I was like, yo, why me, bro? Why me? So your regular recovery for a torn quad is about four to six weeks. Bro, it took me about six months to recover. Bro, that can really get through your head. If you've had some injuries, you know how, how much your mind plays tricks on you, bro. Like, bro, I used to love working out. I would work out like, I wouldn't even want to rest, but I'd work out like six, seven days a week. And then during this injury, bro, let me to working out maybe like once or twice a week. And like, I wouldn't even want to think about fitness. Whenever fitness would come to my mind, I would actually just get depressed. And just ruin my whole entire day, ruin my whole mood. I would just go on the computer and just play some games because I just need to get my mind off things. But I never wanted to think about anything fitness because once I think about, bro, I couldn't even run for six months, bro. Think about that, man. Couldn't run for six months. Another reason why my trainers got worse and worse is because I was seriously trying to grow my legs. And this injury, bro, I couldn't even train. Bro, I couldn't even run, like I was saying. So I just felt like me, I just felt like I was going further and further away from my goal, my biggest insecurity. And that just, that just ruined my head, bro. You know, like I was trying to be, I was trying to be very serious about my leg day. Cause I never cared about legs. And now I'm starting to care about legs, I'm trying to go hard and make them grow. I'm not trying to defeat my insecurity. And it's just going the other way. When I would wake up, I'd never want to leave my bed. In college, I was going from eighties and nineties to getting like fifties and sixties, bro. Like everything was just going downhill. My life was just spiraling down with every single aspect. Finally, finally, after the excruciating six months, I'm back to training, bro. Now that I'm back to training, bro, yo, I'm going off bro. I'm going so hard like I'm making up for these all these months I've missed out on gains and what do you know I'm going so hard bro like yo and I and I'm smart I well I like to think I'm sometimes smart I actually still worked up to getting back to my shape because the worst thing after an injury is not only progressing you're trying to catch up to where you were and then you're progressing so technically you're still progressing but it's just hard to get that out of that ego out of your head of trying to just catch up to where you were before and then beating your previous self. But yeah, so what do you know? Going hard in the gym, bro. Going extra hard on legs. I don't even know how this happens, bro. I got a hernia. And, and like, I didn't want to believe it at first. Like I was just dealing with this injury for half a year and I'm getting another serious injury. And the thing with hernias is, is that the only recovery is the surgery. And I've heard bad things about the surgery. And like, yo, I, I, bro, I did not want to stop training. It took me about like three months after I noticed like a little lump in my groin to actually go to the doctor and get it checked out. Like it was crazy, bro. During my hernia, I was still trying to just push through that training and, but I didn't want to deal with another injury. I was trying to push through hard leg days, hard every single day, any single body part, I was going hard. And eventually got to the point that if I would work out, bro, I would be in pain later that day if I was standing up. Like that's crazy. Just standing up later in the day would cause me serious pain. But then during this time, my first video started blowing up. Then like it was crazy, bro. Like. If I didn't do that, because before before I tried pushing through that, every time I would see my video blowing up, getting mad views, mad comments, mad likes, I'd be depressed because I actually couldn't do anything. And like my video was blowing up and I felt like my opportunity was being taken away from me again. I was trying to grow, I was trying to put, I was trying to just grow my channel and like I was in so much pain training that I couldn't do it. But I was like, yo, I just got to push through this, you know, for the short time being, just push through this, try to get as much, try to gain as much of a following as I can and just fight the pain I guess. And then like, I was just getting in my own head. I was like, yo, it took me a year to get a hundred subs. It took me a couple years to get a couple thousand subs. And now like with this video blowing up, I almost like doubled my sub count. I'm like, yo, I need to keep this growth going. So I was like, yo, I gotta just push through this injury. I gotta keep pushing through this. I gotta keep pushing through this injury. So the video wasn't ab workouts. I just kept training ab workouts, making up, just dropping mad ab workouts. That's when it gets to your head, bro. Two serious injuries back to back. You know, all these thoughts pop in my head. Like, yo, is it really worth it? Should I just go back to school? Should I just go back and get a regular job? You know, like, why am I doing fitness something I gotta rely on my body for? Why don't I just go sit in an office all day and chill doing that? I realized how hard it is to grow my channel and how it is to grow with just YouTube in general. It's like, yo, I can't miss this opportunity again. And then, like, you have your outside circumstances that come into play. You know, like, if you've ever had a YouTube channel, it's crazy the amount of people that just talk shit, like, in real life, 
online, people you know in general, people you thought that would that would like follow you, would respect you, like yo, everyone's talking trash, you know. So I just wanted to prove to everyone else that I could do this. Eventually, eventually I just got the surgery, and then yo, the surgery is even worse. The recovery time, man, like that is that'll put you into an even bigger depression. So first of all, you can't walk. I, bro, I couldn't walk for two weeks. I was being pushed around in my rolly chair in my basement for two weeks straight. Then after that, the doctor told me that I can't lift more than five pounds for two months. Bro, I can lift five pounds on my pinky. I was working at a supplement store, but like my job is just grabbing protein tubs like with ease, bro. Like now imagine that mentally, I know I can grab five pounds, but physically I'd be in pain trying to grab five pounds. Cause my doctor would say that, or the surgeon would say that I could reopen the wound. And like, if I reopen the wound, bro, that's game over after that. Like even still to this day, bro, it's always in the back of my mind that I'm gonna reopen my wound, reopen the hernia, just trying to push myself too hard and like, Subconsciously, I'm always thinking about that. I don't even realize it. And about like half a year later, after that training was going good, slowly progressing, just getting back to where I was, and even just getting bigger than I, than what I was. I'm thinking, hopefully, still pretty small though. But this is also when I started uploading more of like the asking girls videos and the public girl prank videos. Like these videos were doing my channel very well. I was getting a lot of growth from these videos, so I was just doing more and more and more of these. Then I honestly just got back to barely doing rest days. And now that I think about it now. That's probably what caused this next injury, not resting enough. And then I got my tennis elbow, which is a repetitive strain injury, which commonly can come from not resting. And it felt like it was happening all over again. I'm injured, then when my videos start blowing up, and then I see the likes, the comments, everything is going up, my emotions are going down, I'm feeling even worse. Like, you know what should be the complete opposite? You're the happiest day of your life, your thing's booming, your shit's booming, but my emotions were not, were not bro. I was in a bad mental state. Like, the amount of time that I've wanted to quit, YouTube, even just a couple months ago, bro, I was actually... Just driving in my car, just thinking to myself, is it worth it? Do I want to do this? Still? Like, should I just quit this, bro? Four years in, should I just quit this? And like, and honestly, I'm looking at my computer, trying to find programs I would like in school. Like, it was actually getting to that point that I'm like, yo, it's over, bro. It's about to be over. And then, now that I'm able to properly and consistently train again, it just really just impact my mood and like a day and night difference, bro. And my mood's better. Everything feels better. My videos are starting to do a lot better too, so it's helping me feel better. And like. I was probably at the lowest of my low when I wanted to quit YouTube. Dealing with all these injuries, videos aren't popping off, and like doing this for years, I feel like I'm wasting my whole life doing this for years. Not my whole life, but I wasted a big portion of my life trying to push this and it's it going nowhere. And like, all I want to say is that one quote I've heard, which is so true, that it's always going to stick with me, is that it's always darkest before the dawn. After your lowest of the low, there's always going to be brighter days, bro. It's darkest before the dawn. The dawn is the brightest time of the day. Oh, I don't even know. It seems like it is, but just know that there's always gonna be something good coming out of that low, that all-time low, no matter what it is. And you might not realize it at the time. Like I didn't realize it at first too, but and that those extreme lows make you realize what you actually, what you really want, and what you truly want. It's gonna test you, bro. It's gonna test you like you've never been tested in your entire life. And like so many crazy thoughts are gonna go through your head, bro. And like if you've dealt with a long-term injury, you'll understand what I'm saying. If not, you need some extreme mental strength and fortitude to actually push through injuries long-term, even multiple injuries long-term, in that. And I wish you, if any of you guys are dealing with that or you're going through that, if you've gone through that, wish you the best of luck to do that, bro. Because it's not easy, bro. It's not easy. I'm not going to tell you it's easy. And I don't have the one-size-fits-all solution or answer to dealing with these type of problems. But this is just my story. This is what I've dealt with. And hopefully, this can help other people relate to me. And people can just understand that you're not the only one going through this. Honestly, I thought everyone had their whole life figured out, bro. I thought everyone was going on the right path. Everyone knew what they were doing. Like, I thought I was, I was an outlier, not knowing what I wanted to do with my life. Doing YouTube for four years straight and still trying to think, like, who am I? What am I doing with my life? What do I want to do, bro? And, like, always remember that, bro, it's darkest before the dawn. It's always darkest before the dawn. And so many times I want to quit YouTube, go back at a regular job, get a nine to five, and just go back to school. I'm, bro, I'm so happy I didn't do that. And, like, yo, there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, I'm nowhere near I want to be, but this is a step in the right direction. So, hopefully, you enjoyed that video. Hopefully, this can relate to a lot of people. And, hopefully, just. People can understand what I'm going through. You know, if you want to trim me, say whatever you want. Call my legs skinny. Because, yo, now I don't really care about my legs being skinny anymore, bro. You know, I used to be a biggest fear, bro. I would go to great lengths, like I said, would just to hide how skinny my legs are. But now, I'm open to that. Call me skinny. Call me whatever you want. Trim my legs, bro. Say whatever, bro. Say whatever. I'm Gucci out here.